All right, guys, here with the, uh, the native tank, the perch. Um, overwhelming response in my last video about these guys. Everybody was super excited about them. Uh, it's my first time trying to keep them. Obviously, I've caught perch in the past, um, but never uh, never tried to keep them in the tank. I've got 10 of them in here. Uh, all of them still doing well. Uh, none of them have died. Um, I also have the uh, Shiner. And of course, he moves like super fast, so it's hard to keep him in that camera. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Back up a little bit, maybe you seem better. He's doing well, but um, been feeding these guys some bloodworms, uh, brine shrimp, and mysa shrimp. Um, and they've really been eating well, so I figured I'd do a little feeding video here to show you guys exactly what happens. Um, so let's have at it. Just kind of get some going here. You can see right off the bat the shiner goes after it, and even the perch have been uh, they've been in here about almost two weeks now, and they've really uh, really become more acclimated to the tank. Uh, you know, stuff doesn't scare them as much, not nearly as skittish. And as you can see, they're coming out to uh, feed, so it's actually kind of fun to watch. Um, a lot of times they'll sit over here in the on the black, and when the thing just swirls around, there'll be they just sit there and collect it. it. Looks like they're up here a lot now, though. Up a little bit more in there. Been feeding them once a day with this stuff. Like I said, I try to alternate it. Uh, but no matter what I dump in there, they really, really, really enjoy it. Kind of see them going crazy. And then back over here. I actually have the heater in there. You see the heater uh, not plugged in at all, um, so I'm keeping it just a room temperature. Thought about uh, raising the temp in the tank, um, but I think I'm just going to keep it as is. The reason I was going to raise it just to see if I could get a little bit more growth out of them, but I think they're, they'll be fine here. I mean, the temperature in this tank is probably about 60, 67-ish. Um, that's a guess. Uh, so it's definitely way warmer than what they'd be experiencing you know naturally so probably you're talking almost 30 degrees warmer so these guys will definitely get some growth to them especially with feeding them like this once a day but I'm very excited to see it like I said a lot of positive comments you know, a lot of excitement about a lot of people really enjoying keeping them that have kept them so let's see what happens like I said a lot of these guys still pretty little um, this is the biggest guy in the tank um, which is kind of funny, like the, one of the biggest guys in here is, is also one of the shyest. He, he hides in the rocks more than any of the, the little ones do. But I guess that's uh, maybe a survival instinct. Maybe, he's, maybe that's why he's so big is that he's actually, uh, you know, hid, hid for a lot, of, a lot of time and avoided the predators. But at any rate, guys, that's all I got. Um, dump a little bit more in here for you, but... Appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate the comments on these guys. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever really um, done the uh, just trying to catch them with the net. I'm really excited to see how it goes. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Remember, they're just stupid fish videos. Take care and uh, have a happy new year. Later.